Hi guys, welcome to another Drone Nation video. I hope you're all doing well. Uh, well, today we are doing a little bit of a review on the Overlander RCS60. Uh, as you can see on the box, it states that it's a 60 watt, 6 amp charger, so it'll charge up to 6 amps. So if you've got a 6000 milliamp battery, it'll do it all day long without an issue. And it'll do anything underneath a 6000 milliamp battery. Um, <coughs> Lipo wise this will only charge 2 to 4 cell uh, but the main reason why I got this was because it does the Lipo high voltage you know, I've managed to get a couple of the Overlander 1300 uh, 55C high voltage packs so we're going to be giving them a little bit of a test over the next, over the next few weeks uh, and then obviously I'll be able to give you, you guys some form of feedback on whatever they like but incidentally these ones which are 70C 1300 these are just a standard LiPo, standard LiPo and the LiPo high voltage these kick ass these are really good batteries but today we're not here about them we are here about charger so the charger itself well I've been using it for let me see about four weeks there and there about three to four weeks I'll tell you what we get this box out of the way so yeah, so where do we start with it? Well, I normally use uh, this big massive four port monster and it's that noisy that you can't really charge them in the evening or overnight because it wakes the kids up. Uh, it's not necessarily that charger which is noisy, it's the power pack I've got for it, but either way, you know, the, the noise that's generated from it's horrific. So, We've now gone to just using one little charger. You know, if I'm if I'm charging twelve batteries, I have to use the big one. But I always balance them all off with this one because I don't trust the the, the hobby king one. To be honest with you, um, it only charges one battery at a time. Now they do have a bigger brother, which is called the RCD100. I think which will do two batteries at a time, and you can also do series on that then. So you'll be able to charge a few batteries, say four batteries if you're doing the FPV stuff anyway, you'll be able to charge four batteries on either side of the charger so you can use two ports to charge eight batteries. So we may well be invested in that one soon. There's a few features I really like on it to be honest with you. Uh, one of the main ones is it's got the battery meter on it so you don't necessarily have to be charging your battery to find out actually how much is in it. You can just, it's the same as having like a, a lipo buzzer type thing but it gives you digital readouts. But if you're in the middle of charging stuff and you haven't got a light bulb buzzer to hand and you can't just plug it in and see what's in there it's, it's a nice thing that the charger can actually do that for you see so if you have to just bang it on charge and you know guessing what the cells are you can literally just you can click on battery meter and it'll tell you what all your cells are before you start charging uh, it's also got an internal resistance meter which is one thing that i really like to be honest with you because I haven't, I haven't really seen any other chargers out there which you which you've got one um, and you get like a lot of companies that are going on about you know how great the resistance is in their batteries and you know <laughs> that they don't have much internal resistance and internal resistance can be an absolute pain because you can get a 70c battery and then by the time it's gone through the internal resistance of the battery and then it's come out it's actually more like 60c or even 50 so <laughs> it's nice that you can you can actually measure that and you can see what your battery is doing over time as well so if your batteries are becoming you know they're, they're dying off quite quick you can see if the resistance has gone in them so in which case you'll know if the batteries have gone on um what else have we got it's got yeah as i say it's lipo high voltage as well so it will charge high voltage packs which is one of the main things that i got it for until i found out about the internal resistance meter and the battery meter in it as well uh, <laughs> it's also it's a nice compact size you know it, it's half the size of an imax b6 it's a little bit chunky like height wise you now the sizes of it are 112 by 106 by 152 millimeters so yeah it is a little bit chunky in height wise but for the little bit of chunkiness in height wise you, you gain a lot of or you gain a lot less overall width and length of it you know, it is quite small and it's nice and handy the only bad thing i can say about it is the fact that you can't use it on your car so you can't just plug it out if you're out you can't take it with you to just charge up off your car battery while you're out whereas in the, the bigger brother version of it which is the RCD 100 I think that does do ACDC charging 
so you can use it in your house as well as you're using it while you're out of the field as well. Uh, <coughs> I'll just uh, do a quick jump cut though. Uh, I'm just going to show you the like, little disc internal battery meter and things because I'm still buzzing off it to be honest with you. Right, give us one second. Alright, so when you first <coughs> sorry about that, when you first plug it in, you know, it'll come up with what options or with what type of battery you're charging. So you can just use these two buttons to you know, obviously go through and see what it does. So it'll do lipos, it does life batteries as well. It does lithium ion batteries, it does the lipo high voltage batteries, it does NIMH, it does NICADs, it does lead acid as well. And you've got your battery meter now. This battery I've just charged on the big Hobby King one, so we'll just see how uh, balanced the cells are on that. See, so it's not exactly, it's not far off, but that shouldn't be up there. That should be a maximum 420, so we'll probably sort that out on this one in a minute. But, that, you know, that's currently not charging or nothing. Now you can just literally click on battery meter and it comes up and tells you exactly what your battery cells are doing. So you've got that up to there, then you go across to the battery resistance side. So you can then just push that button that and then that'll then give you the resistance of each cell within your battery so then you can obviously you can see what the resistance is then and then you get like companies that are saying, you know, but we've got really low resistance batteries and you stick them on this and it'll turn out that they've got like 10 ohms which is obviously a lot more resistance than these little 1300 packs from Overlander that I've been using. So, in fact, I'll tell you what, hang on one second, I'll just grab it. Uh, what do you call? Let me see what we've got in your box. There you go, here's a tattoo battery. That'll do. Give that a whirl and see what that says. Uh, as you can see, tattoo 50 and 50. And just uh, unplug this quick. And you'll just see what this one comes out of. Do, 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 do. So that's now plugged in, so we check the internal resistance on this. <laughs> yeah, uh, Tattoo 1550s, uh, I've got a sh more resistance in them than they have. That's horrific. Oh, well, that's going in the bin, we won't be using them again. I made up, I've just done that little test. It proves a lot of points that I've been saying to people about the Tattoo batteries. Uh, yeah, that's just proved that it's, it's the easiest way of putting that. So, <coughs> anyway, so you've got the LM options, and then obviously you can then, you've got your system settings, so you can store programs for different battery profiles, so depending on like, if you're charging like, a lot of batteries over time, you can just jump into this and just obviously change from profile to profile, depending on what style of battery it is that you're doing. Um, battery memory, I ain't got a clue what that is. I'll we'll plug a, a pack in and see what this does. Should have possibly read up on this charger, but to be honest with you, I've just been using it and I really like it. Really, really like it. Let's see what that does. Ah, there we go. Right, so that's basically that's one of the memories I've got stored. So for when I'm charging a lipo high voltage packs, I can just go into this, hit the start button in, and it'll just show you and then it'll set the charger up ready to obviously charge it for me so I've already got the right amount of amps that I won't go into it's already set to four so you know so it saves you saves you a lot of fighting about shall we say so you've got that and then we're back to the lipo battery life battery lilo again so but yeah that as you've just seen it's just proved it's worth in gold you know we're back on to tattoo battery now hey not tattoo battery sorry the overland fpv pack and six 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 and five this was six a minute ago so but it's a heck of a lot better than that so yeah uh, in conclusion i really like this charger i unfortunately yeah it's an ac one only so you can only use it in your house it would have been that little bit better if it was an ac dc one uh, but as I said, the bigger brother of it, which is the RCD100, I think, um, that is an ACDC charger, so you can use that while you're out out the field as well. Uh, but for, for what this is and for the price point of it, thinking of price point, I better tell you how much it is, hadn't I? Uh, let me just jump on my new tablet that we got for Christmas. 
price point is £42.98. So, yeah, it's a little bit pricey, but for the features it's got in it, I, I personally think it's set about the right price. You know, it's it's not it's not like it's a you know, an IMAX V6, shall we say? And I'm going to get slated for saying that, but there's a lot of fake ones running around now. It's very very rare if you do happen to, uh, shall we say, get a brand new genuine one. So. <laughs> For the extra couple of quid you can obviously see the resistance in your packs you can see what your batteries are running at uh, you can check the balance of them and then it'll charge everything literally every single battery you can think of it can charge uh, this, you know, so that was the first main reason why i got it was for the high voltage packs so yeah i uh, as i said i really like it and go get one if it's your first charger you won't go far wrong it's really simple to use it's really easy to use there's everything's laid out the way it is on every other four button charger but obviously this has just got a few more features in it as well so you know win-win 